Okay, so it's um, Friday today, um, the 26th of um, April, and um, today, the first part of my um, series of upgrades has arrived, and if in case you're wondering, it's the screen. Now, it's like an Inolux blah 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 model name. I would show you the letter, but it's going to have my address, so, you know, not happening. But, first things first, well, actually, I guess first things first isn't actually what I was going to say, is shut down the computer. Okay? That probably was quite a clear thing to do. Then what I do is um, unplug this, the battery, um, and uh, there we go, battery unplugged, and then we can start to get to work. So, it's 1080p instead of um, the 366 by 768 it's um ips i believe the one in the built in the one that it came with this screen is um there we go so there we go there's the front panel um off um so i'm gonna need to look this up so i'll do this off camera get the screen attached and hopefully compare and so on okay so I've plugged the battery back in. Screen's on. Cool. Cool, cool. Okay, so it's working. Um so it's, it's a sticker. Oh my god, yeah, that's 10 AP. Oh that looks so good. So new screen. I just need to mount it in, but it's working. Um yeah, so I need to screw it in. Um it was like um glue thing well sticky thing um yeah so it's peeled this off as well you know um but yeah oh my god the 1080p the 1080p oh this looks so good compared to what it had oh look at that it's oh my god i'm sorry i'm getting so excited about a screen but oh yes um yeah i genuinely wasn't expecting um number one it to arrive today and also i actually thought this was um a different thing arriving um i thought it was the um i'll spoil it the laptop dock but no it's actually the screen and oh my god this looks so good i can't state how like nice it looks compared to the other display and also you know the um cameras um a bit overexposed but um trust me it looks great it's a bit glossy though that's my only complaint but apart from that that was worth the three quid or whatever it cost so yeah so i've got um the sticky adhesive adhesive things um on the back, I just need to get the blue bit off, and then it'll reveal its other um, sticky side. Um, and then I'll do that, screw it on. Um, yeah. But yeah, I can well and truly say this was 100% worth it already. That's all I'll say. Okay, so... Um, currently it's not very well aligned, but I'm going to leave it for now instead of just fiddle about and get annoyed and then, yeah. Um, so I'm going to leave it for now. Um, this might be the last bit you see until, um, tomorrow where hopefully RAM, SSD, um, what else, um, do I order for this, um, I've gone blank. Whether more stuff arriving, that's the point. New, more pieces of upgrades. So, yeah, that's the plan.
Okay, so it's now Saturday, the uh, 27th of April, um, and more stuff has arrived. Woo! Uh, I'll take this out for safety reasons. You don't actually need to take it out for what I'm doing. I'm only um, doing this. In fact, there's a correct screwdriver right here that I think, well, I say correct. Hopefully it'll work. So, what has arrived? So, let's explain. I've bought a Mighty Mouse. It's not necessarily for the ThinkPad, but yeah. I bought this SSD. It's a Transcend um, SATA 242 SSD. Well, that's what it should be. It says Transcend. It should be SATA. As long as it's SATA 500... Is it 500 or 48 gigs? Whatever point is enough. So I'll get this open and do RAM first. Check it if it beats. It should do. Hopefully. Because otherwise I'll be in a bit of trouble. And yeah. See what else will happen. Okay. Interior open. Let's um, do the RAM just because it's the easiest um i could also just do it let's say yes i'll go for that as well so suppose the latest supports 2100 megahertz um ddr3 and that's what i got i opted for the extra speed because it was literally the same price at cx and i already see a problem That's DDR4. Hmm. It's kind of important you get the right DDR. Oh, for fuck's sake. Well, one of these is DDR4. This IPX, I'm pretty sure, is DDR3. Yeah, it looks, it's fitting in. Um, which slot do I have to go put this in? Uh, I'm getting really quite annoyed because that's not at all anything to do with my fault. That's just their fault. Whoa. I, I could have checked beforehand. Oh, yeah, that's um, DDR4, um, not 3, but... Oh well, hopefully I put in the right slot. Hopefully it's working RAM as well. Oh, I'm so annoyed because that means I still have eight gigs, no matter what. Um, um, yeah, this SSD you probably can tell, but it says um, fifty quid. That's how much I paid for it. Yeah, it wasn't cheap, but um, it is. 512, I did see it on the actual SSD itself, it says 512, so there's that, so let's get in. Okay, so, I've put, um, the, um, what's it called, um, I've gone blank on the name, what's the name, what's the name, well, i put the, um, RAM and the SSD in. I'll hold off for the CPU for now, um, but yeah, just to make sure that's out of the way, um, but yeah, so I'll turn it on, I'll probably, I might just for now use the old RAM, um, but I die, for now until I get the RAM issue sorted but yeah I'm quite annoyed okay so it's turning on so the RAM's fine um, which to be fair I'm not actually surprised um, because um, when people have put 2133 in these they have used like HyperX RAM so yeah um I'm really quite annoyed. 
<laughs> I know I keep insane it, but I really am annoyed. Hopefully the SSD is detected. Um, hopefully I can like copy the whole SSD over and expand and whatever. Um, but um, yeah. So for those other way, the plan will be that SSD. Um, I'll put my Linux on, and the SATA I'll put whatever else like Haiku. Um, BSD, whatever else, Mac OS question mark and so on. So, yeah. Okay, looks like the SSD is on here. It says new volume. It's complaining about not being authorized to do that option. So actually, I'm gonna just open up my Wayland and what Wayland? No, well, yes, but um, plasma container just because things will work when you're inside plasma and there it is the additional ssd that's currently in ntfs which no just no um yeah so it should theoretically be booable and whatever um yeah so i need to just like copy over what's on here really and yeah, keep us. I'm up on my bed. I will go down, back down. But um, yeah. So I've installed um Endeavor OS on the SSD like that. Um. So we're doing a CPU upgrade. So, um, additionally, I will be taking out the SSD that's already in here because it's a two forty gig SSD. This is a two fifty six. I might as well. Um. And also, I do well. I do want to preserve this install, um, as well. So I'll probably put this in like another computer of mine. I don't want one. I, well, maybe I do, but um, yeah. So this is SSD. Um, the SATA SSD will be the one where I'll be messing about with stuff. I should also take off the order thing. I can't even remember where I actually put the screw. Not like it really matters, it's more than secure, but yeah. So this um, SSD, funnily enough, was actually like seven quid cheaper than this SSD. I think it's just, I think this SSD must be like an OEM SSD. It's like Samsung, um, by the way. Um, considering it's like wrapped in full and it's sort of bland branded. <laughs> I actually get this in um, without one handed I don't think I can I'm, I'm putting it in the right way no I'm not actually that might be why yeah there right yeah, this is the right way right yeah I'll do this off camera okay so here's the current brackets old CPU um, let's hope I can find the Took me way too long to find a screwdriver just for um, unscrewing the um, heat sinks and the fan thing. Um, this, um, but yeah, so I don't think it'll be as hard because um, I've had to use like similar screws left um, for the. 2007 iMac and stuff so yeah shouldn't be too hard to find a screwdriver for that let's go 4702MQ whoa i7 so on the computer now and um as you might be able to tell open BSD so I'm going to do OpenBSD first. Um, can, I rem can I ever remember how to partition OpenBSD or any BSDs? No, because I'm an idiot. But, um, I could make it happen. I, I, I do know how to 
read sometimes at least um yeah so i don't know how much storage i'm going to use of the um little sata ssd but i will um use some of it of course i won't use the whole disk just so you know because i do want to install like haiku and hackintosh you know um so i want you know space for those but i'll i'll probably give this a little bit well i'll um mm, things the reality is none of these i'm going to use as much as you know linux so i don't really know i might just give it like a quarter of the space which would be 60 gigabytes well technically 64 but yeah you know, i think maybe something like that um so yeah it's a problem uh, it took me way too long to realize the keyboard has stopped working which is a bit weird considering it was literally working um so when I booted into it, it did like a thing where it w wanted to boot. Like it, it, it wouldn't boot into this, it wouldn't show the blue text. So I did like boot slash 7.5 slash BSDRD or something like that. Um, and you know, I typed on the keyboard perfectly fine. However, it's now not working. Um, I don't know if an external usb keyboard will work but if it does it will and i'll continue if not i guess i'll move on to haiku just because um at, at least with haiku that's quite uh, it's quite simple i say quite, quite simple i can't remember exactly the steps because yeah you know, i won't do it but yeah i'll, I'll see you in a bit where well, i'll either be switching back switching to haiku or i'll be showing you open bsd stuff okay so external keyboard works blah, 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 blah. so i'm able to get onto it um so yeah and i'll see what's the uk keyboard is it is it just called uk and not gb yes it is oh well and yeah i'll see you in a bit yeah wi-fi drivers I don't really think about that. I'm, I'm going to see if it will work, but because I think it's Intel, and Intel are relatively well known to have you know good GPU drivers, so I'm, I, I don't. I very well could be wrong. I believe that um, the um, Wi-Fi card in this actually support is like supported in Haiku, so yeah, but I don't know about BSD. I've, 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 I actually, I've don't know if like I don't really know if like Wi-Fi cards just work like Linux on BSDs. It could actually just work on BSDs. I don't really know. I, I should stop making my sound. The more I talk, the more I probably sound like an idiot. I guess IWM zero is actually wireless, right? I think the quickest solution is just to go wired because you know, of course, that'll work. Um, but yeah, the only problem is it's um the cable is is very loose. It'll right easily fall out, so you've got to be really careful about that. Um, although to be fair, you don't really need to do it because I think the main packages are on the actual ISO itself. It doesn't do an online install. But I'll shut up. Because the more I say stuff, the more I have a potential of being wrong. Okay, so if we do into the install that should be done, you know, then, you know, reboot, the will do whatever the other options were. Um, point is, it's just giving me, like, a grey screen. I wonder if I leave it, will it be into, well, attempt to be into, um... Open BSD, um, and I think it, it will because of the in the boot order it did show um 
the boot screen um it did show um the SATA SSD first, although weirdly enough it seems to have um froze any stock on the boot screen. So uh, the, the, I guess I can show you this uh, um F twelve look for the PXC. Look, see the Samsung appears on the top and when I go on it no signs of life maybe i need patience maybe i'm just an impatient idiot i don't know but to be fair i'm actually more excited to do high key than um open bsd i could i guess maybe like try free bsd was it you've got like other bsds as well like just bsd that's the real bsd right it's like midnight bsd as well I think one, I can't remember which one of those two requires like 8 gigs of RAM because it like copies over to like, was it 4 gigs of RAM? Point is it requires a lot of RAM because it like copies the install something like to RAM or something. So yeah, I could also try that and I, you know what, I probably will because I think interesting, that's my answer. So, yeah. Oh, was that red? Oh, don't tell me I've bricked to install. Oh, yeah, also, I'm using GDM right now, but I did do, like, some software um, stuff. Um, well, I had to reinstall, of course. But um, I did do some magic. Um, known as switching to the ugly display manager, also known as gnome display manager or gdm for short because um for some weird reason sddm um did not want like when i tried to log in it would like you know show a black screen and it would just kick me back to the login screen don't know why so that's why i'm using gdm instead of um sdm uh, uh, sddm you know so yeah in case you're curious, that's why. Okay, so if we do into the install that should be done, you know, it said, you know, reboot the one, do whatever the other options were. Um, point is, it's just giving me, like, a grey screen. I wonder if I leave it, will it boot into, well, attempt to boot into, um, OpenBSD, I'm, I'm, I think it, it will, because of the, in the boot order, it did show um, the boot screen. Um, it did show um, the SATA SSD first, although weirdly enough, it seems to have um, frozen any stock on the boot screen. So uh, the, the, I guess I can show you this uh, um, F12. Look for the PXC. Look, see? The Samsung appears on the top. And when I go on it, no signs of life. Maybe I need patience. Maybe I'm just an impatient idiot. I don't know. But to be fair, I'm actually more excited to do high key than um, open BSD. I could, I guess, maybe, like, try free BSD. Was it, you've got, like, other BSDs as well, like, Joist BSD. That's the real BSD, right? It's, like, Midnight BSD as well. I think one, I can't remember which one of those two requires, like, 8 gigs of RAM, because it, like, copies over to, like, was it 4 gigs of RAM? Point is, it requires a lot of RAM because it, like, copies the install something, like, to RAM. Or something so yeah i could also try that and i you know what i probably will because i think interesting that's my answer so yeah oh was that red oh, don't tell me i've bricked to install oh yeah also i'm using gdm right now but i did do like some software um stuff um 
well I had to reinstall of course but um, I did do some magic um, known as switching to the ugly display manager also known as gnome display manager or gdm for short because um for some weird reason sddm um did not want like when i tried to log in it would like you know show a black screen and it would just kick me back to the login screen don't know why so that's why i'm using gdm instead of um sdm uh, uh, sddm you know so yeah in case you're curious, that's why. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of just tempted to go straight to high kicks because how less painless it is, although at the same time, is it really less painless when I've got um well there probably is a way to get around it, but like um you can't use it with Ventoy, so I'm gonna have to like reflash the USB. It's just like, oh, I really don't want to. Oh, actually, I don't want to do that. But well, maybe. <sighs> but yeah, so I get oh, Ghost BSD. I don't know. And uh, it's also Dragonfly BSD. I forgot about Dragonfly BSD. It's I think it's one of those, and not Midnight BSD. That I said about like the eight gig RAM or whatever or is it for? Whatever point still stands. Um, because of what I said, so yeah. Um, or, or if not, I'll just go normal BSD because um, the normal, well, free BSD. So yeah, that's the plan, I guess. See what works, and then I'll use it, I guess. So yeah, ghost BSD that I was thinking about the RAM thing. Oh, I think I'll try. Um. Ghost BSD France Mirror. I could torrent, but I uh, can't be bothered. The main reason I don't bother with torrenting for like smaller files is number one, it they could be obscure and actually could take longer than the mirrors. And then number two, um, um, oh my god, what's the reason? And number two, it you know takes a couple of seconds to. Go on to like, you know, to, it'll take a bit to open Qubit Torrent and then you press, well, you might select what files you want and then you press OK and it's just like, no, nah, I don't want to do that, to be honest. So, yeah, that's why I do what I do. Hope you understand. So, yeah. Base BSD actually has a boot screen. Um, A USB keyboard was interfering there. I don't know what was going on, but anyways, it's over. Now I'm just gonna do the wait thing for the RAM disk thing. What is it called? Mem disk. It's called a mem disk. So that's what it must be called then. But yeah, with this, and then when it's done, I'll show you and hopefully. Get to work installing. Mouse cursor appeared, it appeared, then disappear, and we're in Marte. This looks like, yeah, not Goliath. I mostly just wanted to use this because it's got GI. I'm not scared of the terminal, but I just think it's way nicer if they make at least, you know, make it look all fancy and posh and whatever with the UI. Um. English UK do that um continent you think all in America of course I'm not uh London full disk configuration oh god Well, this, yes, um, I'm pretending to understand what's going on exactly. It's 
been very um vague and there's not many um options of things to do uh, which is not very helpful i don't know if it works like linux if so that'd be like relatively easy to work things out but yeah i'm too old for this now i should just do a thing called google's um you know commit a google so yeah also, it just sort of occurred to me, I install loads of this. Is this the um, Ubuntu slash like Linux Mint installer? It sort of looks a bit like that. Was it like the same custom thing? I mean, I'm just, yeah. I ended up doing full disk. I'm just hoping I can resize the partition to be smaller and, um, after I've installed, you know, going like Linux and repartition it to be smaller so I can actually have space for, you know, Mac and well hacking toshin and um you know haiku committing a haiku isms so yeah i just said in theoretically i could just unplug the usb because it's copied to the ram but i won't okay install is supposedly complete so let's go okay it's saying well let's try is this windows um yeah, okay. It's got a big screen, as you'd expect. Um, unplug the USB. Once again, it's doing that. Um, I don't know why I did um, man, control C. And it's not command, it's control. But yeah. I'm guessing Wi Fi will work, but I don't know. <laughs> so yeah, I got Ethernet rooted up, but yeah. Oh, it uses um, a slight DM, isn't it? It's the theme that I can't think what it's called, but it's, you know, what, like, you've been to used to use, and I think Link Mint uses it still, and, you know, so on. And I think, well, I think Endeavor OS used it before they switched to Plasma as well. So, yeah. Boom. I'm on BSD. Let's, yeah, let's be real, this is way more boring than, like, um, than, um, than, you know, Haiku, because you have, you know, like, a completely different desktop, and there's a bit less shared in common, um, between Haiku and Linux, then BSD and, um, Linux, you know, so I'm just saying. I should probably also um, change my, um, what's the software's, is software station like an app store? Oh, you want me to confirm password? I'll see what this is. Is it like a um, graphical front end? So I don't really know what packages are available, so it'd be sort of nice to have a GI to show what's available. If not, you know, I could look at the website or whatever. It took me a while to just notice, well, it took me like 10 seconds to notice this. But, oh my god, they've got a sane default of using fish as the default shell, oh my god. Like, seriously, it's weird, because like, I, I don't think I've ever seen any distro ship um, fish as the default shell. Like, really, you know, what's um, was this going to say? Um, yeah, it's actually some packages, so I'm installing NeoFetch. Apparently it's a Steam launcher um, for FreeBSD, and the am assuming this is based on FreeBSD, either way I'm installing it, and then MultiMC. Prism launcher isn't packaged. I don't, I probably also need to manually do Java as well, but, yeah. I could also probably, let's get, let's get in the box. Oh, uh, yeah, I could also probably have... Uh, Get and is make. Yeah, get and make. I could also um, do just sup m, get sup n installed, um, as well, which would probably be a good idea. But, uh, yeah, I'm assuming this is arc. Is no, no, this isn't arc. I like the buns though. Arc doesn't have those buttons. Um, right. Um, I'm, I'm losing my mind. It's just cool. This isn't Linux. Vimix. Hmm. 
I, I want Vimix dark. I want a dark mode. Hope you understand. There we go. That's so nice. It's very slower installing in the package, but yeah, I'm connected to Wi Fi. I think I've already said that. But yeah, I'm not on Linux. And yeah, I can't complain. I really cannot complain. It works. I don't know if um, you're still like limited to I think 1.12 on BSD. I'm not sure, but I think I think it was like 1.12 or something like that. And I think yeah, it must be 1.12 because that was um last version to use um L W um J G L um two. So yeah. We have a problem this version of multi MCE. Yeah, it is um old um where it does not well it says yeah, oh wait, yeah, my my Minecraft not um Microsoft. Um it's old enough, um it's not it's old that it doesn't have um Mike's Microsoft account support. Which is a bit problem. Maybe I can do an update. It did say there were updates available. Um, but it, it did take quite a while. Um, to uh, update. Like a really quite long time. So uh, yeah. I don't know how long this could take. But that's one way of finding out I guess. Um, yeah so bye bye. Um. Cool software updates are available, mate. I'm literally updating it. So I found um, a, a, um, a thing on GitHub about uh, Minecraft on FreeBSD. I believe this thing goes BSD based on um, FreeBSD, I believe so. Um, point is, it's a BSD of some sort and it probably works. Um, but do, do, yeah, it's based on FreeBSD. Yeah, so I should be able to do this and then... Um, yeah um but i'm gonna wait for well i'll go sort of wait for the it to update which is gonna take like nine years let's be real but hopefully it works and then um i'll try and follow these steps um yeah but i, I mean i will get minecraft working in some form um worst case scenario i, I just bypass um the minecraft account logging on um, multi mc because um that should be relatively easy to do i think i know how to do it i think i'm so, I, I, well i got a tutorial pinned um in my firefox account um bookmarked in my firefox account so i could probably work that out so yeah okay so um stuff is slightly broken <laughs> It's like trying to load the panel, isn't it? It's just sort of like failing. Hopefully, like a reboot will fix that. Um, but yeah. Oh god, this is taking so long. Why is the package manager like so ridiculously slow? Also, one of the buttons in the Firefox. Um thingies missing but that's probably a bit more of a firefox issue but yeah it's a bit of a pain okay so it's also fixed itself um so i'm just gonna <laughs> install these required packages god help us all am i right um hopefully like a couple of them are like already installed or something um but yeah well, actually, open JDK is, it seems, because it was in the Java select for multi MC. So, yeah. Two gigs of storage space. God help us all. Yes. Oh, oh. Okay, I should now fall asleep or something. Oh, God. Oh, <laughs>
Okay, so I can't really work out how to um, um resize the base PSD. So as you can see, I'm just going to do haiku. I'll, I'll, I'll do I'll reinstall BSD in the future, but like yeah. <laughs> honestly, it's also really quite boring. Weirdly enough, it doesn't default to English. I think I remember that problem before. Oh, it's doing that. There you go. English. Now, um, we'll install, I, um, set up partitions and yeah, I'll work this out. It's not too hard. It's only like two partitions you need, I think. So, yeah. Here we are in high key. Um, does the weird, um, let's see, um, yeah, the mouse is a, a bit um, balked, like the trackpad, that's the word I was thinking of. So I'll get my mighty mouse away, so actually I won't use my mighty mouse. My mighty mouse is too far away, I think it's still like downstairs. Um, so I'll just use my mouse that's literally just right down here, whether that was, I just knocked down. So there's a mouse here here and just unplug it from this and then climb up this mountain called my bed and here we are is the haiku oh okay conveniently um after i've done that it starts working um need some network so let's um log in to the wi-fi um yeah it, it works so it should be connected to wi-fi internet um now hopefully only it's stuck um yeah i did um once again plug it back in because of the weird mouse teleportation oh there you go um so i'll install a couple of applications so I install like um Falcon, um Microfish, Neofetch, um Neofetch, um whatever I can think of that's on here. Is micro actually on here? I can't remember. Maybe not micro. But no no. Yeah, I'm not sure actually sure micro's package, but yeah. I'll get a bunch of packages, install them. And we can have a little mess about, and of course we'll get Minecraft, but yeah, that'll be in later on, so yeah. Sorry about that, battery died, but I'm going to do a bit of an extension. So number one, um, it's Minecraft 1.15.2, and I find it funny that little thing in there was broken, the thing, but, um, yeah, it works. Not very well, as you can probably tell. Apparently uses Xorg. Interesting. And also apparently my CPU is unknown. Too obscure. No, I don't think it uses Xorg. I'm pretty sure it just uses its own thing, so I don't know what that's about. Um, next question. Can I play a CDE? Ugh. A CDE? No. A CD on Linux, I should have VLC installed. Yes, I do. You know, VLC, classic piece of software you're all familiar with, interestingly. Um, yep. Yeah. Or is that blank? Um, okay, it looks like the answer is no. Unless, like, um, there's... Something else I'm missing, but no. Looks like oh wait, no, 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 there is a CD on the desktop and it's picked up either tractile or um what's it called? Um thingy. Um so there's that. So just um go in there and do this. It's not actually using, this isn't um, VLC, but 
it is playing, well, was playing for a brief second. Um, so, see these work. Sort of, I guess, I don't know. I don't know if like a CD player that's just balked on VLC or what, but yeah, yeah, it's sort of a bit broken. Okay, um, this audio. No, it shouldn't be muted. The answer is I don't know why there's no audio. But yeah. So, um, hopefully next episode, RAM issue resolved. Um, try BSD again. And I'll also probably try hacking toshing. Which is a thing that I have literally no experience with. Which kind of scares me. But, um, well, it's not that. It's more or less, it's just very... We can be very wordy and it's just like, do I really want to read a bunch of words to install macOS on a computer that isn't supposed to run it? That's more of the thing. It's just very, very wordy and, you know, it sort of scares me that I could potentially um, do an instruction wrong and it not work and then I'll spend forever trying to troubleshoot and then it doesn't work. Um, and it turns out I've just made like a simple little mistake. Um, but yeah. So, yeah. Hopefully you understand. Um, so that's going to be it for today. Hopefully you enjoyed um, this video. Actually, hit that and it's turned on. Um, yeah. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. And I'll see you whenever. And goodbye.